to meet the influencers. And right here, we have a finalist, actually. I'm your host, Robin Neal, with fitness influencer, Des. Today, we'll be getting to know her a bit more and talking about her AIA nomination. Are you ready to get this thing started? Yes, I am so ready and super <laughs> excited. Thank you so much for having me. We have to get down to it because this is why a lot of people already know you. But for those that don't and are learning about you for the first time, how did your fitness and weight loss journey begin? Loaded question. <laughs> um, but yeah, so pretty much, I always like to explain that I feel like my entire life has been a weight loss journey. I grew up in a really big family. Uh, there's five girls and one boy. My twin sister and I are the youngest. My twin has always been super skinny. They were like, do you eat? And then I was 90 pounds in preschool. At five years old, I was 90 pounds, double the size of any other kid. And I enrolled in my first ever boot camp at five years old. We learned about jumping jacks and the food pyramid, anything like that. And I feel like that was like when my weight loss journey began at five years old. And Later on, at, when I was eight years old, we found out that I actually had hypothyroid disease. So that was pretty much our big like aha moment as to why it was nearly impossible for me to lose weight, even though I was so active. I played any sport my mom could throw us in. And like we were never like the kids that were sitting down watching TV. And every year, the weight would just pile on. And eventually, once I got even older, like in high school, I played sports even from my high school. Like I was always overly active worked and dieted harder than any of my friends or siblings, but I was still always the biggest one in the room, biggest one in the family, biggest one in the friend group. And finally, um, when I was out of high school, you know, I wasn't really playing sports anymore, but I was working, going to school full time, and I would make time for the gym, even lots of times, two days, like going to the gym twice a day. Wow. Like I've always taken this very seriously and put in 110% effort. But then like I had like some, insurance issues and I was off my medication for a while and then like the weight piled on even worse like when I was getting close to like 20, 21, 22 years old and before I knew it I was approaching 300 pounds. It was like at the highest I ever saw on the scale was 298 pounds and at that point it was really starting to affect just my daily life and I've always been the social butterfly. I've always had big friend groups. I've like I told you, I do every sport and extracurricular activity. I'm there. If it's something social, I'm there. But at this point in my life, when I was like 300 pounds, it was uncomfortable just to like sit and breathe and work longer than four hours on my feet as a barista. So it was finally starting to really take its toll. You know, I could be working on loving and accepting myself, but at one point it's like, I'm physically like hurting and it's very uncomfortable to be at this weight. And it was preventing me from like actually starting to do normal things. And that's when it was like really like getting really bad. And my primary doctor, who's been my doctor for my whole life, she had recommended even before, like years prior, she had recommended weight loss surgery. And you know, everyone is in my ear saying, don't you want to do it the natural way? Come on, like, don't you want to just try to lose weight on your own? And I'm like, well, what most people will never understand is that I have been trying to lose weight my entire life. So after about three years of contemplating weight loss surgery, doing tons of research, following lots of people on Instagram to see their journeys, I finally made the decision. And in December of 2017, I finally had my gastric bypass surgery. And that was what finally really kicked off my weight loss journey. And I am so thankful. It is the best decision I have ever made for myself, by myself. My entire life changed so quickly, just within that first year. My entire life has changed since then. And I feel like I didn't even start living my life until I was 25 years old. It's absolutely insane. And I'm just so incredibly grateful and the journey has not ended. It's still going on. I have to put in so much work to maintain. So I can't even tell you if it's like a, a start and finish date because the journey is still going. I'm constantly working on something new. You're a and finalist for Emerging Female Fitness Influencer of the Year. First off, how do you feel about that? And how'd you find out about this? My heart is pounding number one right now because every <laughs> time I even think about the fact that I was even nominated, I get so emotional because I'm like, I just, like I told you earlier, my Instagram page was supposed to be a secret. This was never supposed to happen, okay? Like when I say my life changed that year that I made that Instagram page and I had my surgery and I really kickstarted my weight loss journey, 
my life changed. I was going to school every day in Beverly Hills for ultrasound. I should be working in a hospital right now. Okay, like my whole life changed. And um, I am just so incredibly grateful. I, I still can't like even comprehend the fact that I was even nominated amongst all of these fitness influencers, not just someone like me who's even coming out of the weight loss community and weight loss surgery community. It's like the whole spectrum. And I was one of them. I can't comprehend it. I, I feel like I do not deserve it, but I'm also not gonna question it because I'm just like, wow, like this is amazing. And I'm just like, I, I cannot like, sorry, I know I'm saying I'm talking a lot, but I'm just like, for anyone who wants to tune into this show, make sure you mark your calendars so you don't miss out on social media's biggest night. Be sure to follow us, AIA, on all of our accounts. And Des, where can they find you on all of your social platforms? My handle is woke up like Des with a Z. Woke up like Des. And it's on <laughs> Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. Perfect. All of those handles will actually be listed down below so that you don't even have to do much research. Just scroll right on down and you will find them right there so you can keep up with Des and all of her journey. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm your host, Robin Neal, signing off with the wonderful fitness influencer, Des. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Robin.